I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Small Soldiers, it was better than Toy Story. Play that theme music. Okay, folks, so I had a bit of a hard time getting this episode on the screen here, but I finally got it. It's finally working, so we're going to watch Season 1, Episode 1 of Amphibia. Hopefully, this show's as good as I'm expecting. I seen this preview, and I thought this was a good show to be adding, but unfortunately, I have seen the preview to Owl House, Knowing the people behind Owl House, I was interested in that show, but the previews to that so far just isn't striking me like this one has struck me. So, with Owl House, I'm going to wait till they have like a teaser trailer where they're actually got some of the voice actors in it and stuff like that. I'll try to check that one out with y'all, but right now, I'm not really that interested in that. But Amphibia, I'm interested. Let's go ahead... We're going to jump over here to this dry erase board for the quote of the night or whatever it is, quote of the week, night, month. Sometimes I'm lazy. Sometimes I'm able to change it every video. But you know what? There's no one I'd rather be than me. And that's from Ralph, from Ralph Breaks the Internet. So, yes, only be you. Don't be nobody else for everyone's expectations because ultimately you're going to feel bad about it, and just, you're not going to feel good. I don't know the right words, but y'all know what it means, so spread that positivity out there. Um, my brain is all scattered tonight, um, so I'm not really going to spend much time, because I really don't know much about this show anyway. Um, what I'm looking at right now is just a little screen. She's holding a box. I have no idea what the box is for. Um... I have been told that it kind of leaves you wanting more from this first episode, so that's good. On the live stream the other night, which I had so many freaking difficulties with, Andy from Andy Reacts said that, you know, this show leaves you wanting more. So, I did see his thumbnail, and he was in the hospital, and I found out through the live stream that he was in the hospital, so, hey, I hope you get better, Andy. So, yeah, get better, that's all I want. Um, other than that, headphones. They are going on for the most part, by the way. This is a quiet location. It sounds like I got a truck back there right now, but you know what? We've been through worse. We've had worse noise, so let's do this. Let's put these earbuds, not earbuds, these headphones on and just go ahead and start watching this in three, two, one, and play. Turn this thing up. And there we go. Okay, so intro out the way, let's jump into it. Ann or Beast. And if I'm remembering correctly, I do think these are 11 minute episodes, so yeah, we got that. I'm not gonna split it up like I used to do Star Versus unless y'all want me to, though. Okay, so is that our young girl that's in this amphibian land? Whoa. Oh! <laughs> you got it, Hop Up. I'll defend this car. I didn't expect that voice to come out of that frog. Brig, I was talking to Polly. I recognize that voice from somewhere. Polly's got more responsibility in her little flipper than you have in your entire body. Ridiculous. Brig, what did I tell you about leaving the lights on? <laughs> okay, so yesterday oh, was a bad day. That was just one day, dude? Polly, make sure Sprig <laughs> stays in the car. Okay, so Polly well, and Sprig. Okay. <sighs> Wish there was a way to prove I'm not such a goof up. Tell us what you saw. Oh, it was you know, it had a, a huge head, a weak, I expect that voice to come out of that heavy set frog there. Oh, we better catch this beast before it hurts somebody. Because I know his voice. I just don't know who it is for some weird reason. Oh, I know who it is. Ah, it's Gideon's dad. 
from Gravity Falls. And save the town. <laughs> right there. Huh? Okay, so who's our beast? Is it our young girl? Yes, it is. Got ya. Thought you got the best of all land, eh? Well, you. Didn't. Okay, so your name is Anne. <gasps> Giant head, Finley limbs, face bumps. I tried to ask Wally for help. He ran off screaming the second he saw me. <laughs> that does sound like Wally. <laughs> Coming back. What is Ugh. the real beast? Oh, we got a praying mantis beast. <gasps> you, you saved me. How do I know I can trust you? What? Does this look like a face that could deceive you? <laughs> okay, so this is our Mabel in <laughs> yeah, this show. Not. Well then, come on, chow time. Grab and go. <laughs> Now, when I say kill, you say it. Kill. Uh, kill. Uh, <laughs> another day. Oh, my goodness. Come on, kids. Time to what the? Okay, so mushrooms and sticks. Hey, this is pretty good. Uh -huh. Really? So, first question. What the heck are you and where did you come from? I'm good question. Name, and I come from another world. world. Either that or this is a dream. Dude, what the heck? You set me up? I thought we were connected. No, Sprick didn't no, no, no. set you up. What was my plan? Oh no, not the praying mantis monster. Hurry, everyone! Mantis formation! Whoa, that one's a bit bigger. Nope, that scared it off. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's not what she meant. Now that that's settled, what the heck are we gonna do with this thing? Maybe this here valley is surrounded by mountains that are impenetrable this time of year. Hmm. It should clear up in a couple of months. But until then, you try to cross those mountains, you will die. Are you telling me I'm stuck in this crazy place for two months? Where am I gonna stay? With them. Alrighty, kitchen's upstairs. I'm too old for these. Oh, except for this one. Oh, and this one. Oops, <laughs> this one too. Sorry, this one as well. I'm glad well, you're living with us. Monster. We see yeah, who the friends are going to be in this show. Boy. Okay. Good night. Sprig and Anne. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Ah. Come on, come on. Huh. So you know more than you're letting on. Looks like I'm gonna I be here bet for the a while. box is what got you there. Okay, best fronds. Obviously, that's a play on frogs or fr and friends. Oh, this is where we're going to get. Our oh, she was in with the wrong crowd of friends. Especially my friends. Yeah, well, I mean, I just but your friends lost. don't you know? seem that great. They told you to steal a box, it looked like. Well then, why don't I be your friend in the meantime? You? Me! Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> it's gonna be great! <laughs> I like your moxie, frog child. Let's do it! <laughs> Ready to go? Adults are all the same. Curfews, rules, all. Okay, yeah, so like it looks like I I'm gonna be able to remember to these names a lot better than better. other shows that I've done. Yeah. We got Sprig, we got so Ann, we got Hop Pop. For some reason, as of right the second, I can't remember the little one's name, but that's cool. I'll remember very soon. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're a failed actor? Any ideas? Oh, know what this smells like? Freedom. A key that's been in an old man's pocket? Freedom! No, freedom. Who was my next guess? <laughs> <sighs> this is great. Ah! 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 Help! 
Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Whoa, whoa, ah! <laughs> Kids around here don't really get me. Well, hey, they are missing out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, don't swing on. This was not here last week, huh? Hmm. I know exactly what's going on here. Okay. Some jerk just wants this beautiful lake. You're himself. going to end up getting in a lot of trouble. Whoever wrote this wrote if you in hurry. Like they were jump in there. Or maybe they just had bad handwriting. Come on. Ugh. I thought you were trying to be my friend. I am. Well, this is what friends do, remember? They help each other get the things they want. Huh? Look, huh. if a friend likes a pencil case, you get it for them. If your friend likes your new shoes, you give them to her. No. And if your friend wants you to steal a crazy music box from a thrift store, this even if you really don't want This isn't how friendship works. To, you do it, okay? Because if you don't, they might not want to be your friend anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I was blinking, wasn't I? Uh -oh. That's why you were told not to swim. Stupid non-web human hand. I should have listened to you. Friend punch. Ow. Hey, never. <laughs> I'm not about to let my, oh, my friend get eaten. We're in this together. Frag! I figured that was his plan, but... What's next, dude? <laughs> there we go. Oh, hot pepper. So hot, they'll make you wish you were dead. <laughs> you little. Sup, Polly? Polly. You're not gonna eat us, are Got you? Got it. You're not. Try disappointing. <laughs> Sasha, Marcy, I hope you guys are okay. Because I am. They're not really your friends. So, yeah. Take a look at this, please, Sasha. It was found far from here in the South Forest. Hmm. Now we know that you've been lying to us. No, we know that there are more of you. Oh. Okay. Really good. It does leave you wanting more because you want to find out what in the world's happening with Sasha and who she, you know, who she got captured by and stuff like that. Or at least I hope that was her name, Sasha. But yeah, we got Polly, we got Hot. Crack my knuckle there. We got Polly. We got Hop Dad. No, Hop Pop. What the heck am I thinking? We got Polly, Hop Pop, Sprig, and Anne. And now it sounds like we got Sasha. Um, I think I heard the mayor because I heard him say Mayor Toadstool, who's voiced by Gideon's dad from Gravity Falls. So that's pretty cool. Um,. Um, all I really know about this show right now, well, besides the first episode, is that it's supposed to be about a Thai American girl who's transported over here to this amphibian world. So, so far, I love it. This is a great show. It's fun. It's energetic. It's got some mystery to it because right now I'm seeing this little box again that she opened to begin with. And yeah, it's got mystery to it. Now we get to figure out about Sasha. I've already got a theory in my head that Sasha is going to end up being a villain throughout this whole thing. And, you know, they're going to figure out that their friendship really isn't as tight as, you know, they thought it was. Because, as we could tell in the flashback at the beginning of the second half of the episode, and yes, I will, you know, do like I did Star with Star vs. the Forces of Evil if y'all want me to where I broke it up at the first half, and I broke it up in the middle, talked about the first half of the episode, and then, you know, did the second half of the episode. I can break it up again if y'all would rather, but I kind of like the idea of just going straight through the show and then talking about what I remember most. So, yeah. Um, obviously, in the flashback part, yeah. Those are not the friends you want to have, 
And you don't just give your stuff away to your friends just because they want it. And you don't want to lose your friends. It seems like this show is going to be big and heavy on friendship and what it means to really be a friend. So that's a very good start to the show already. Um, it's teaching a very valuable lesson to kids already as well, as well as adults, because regardless of what adults think, they can learn a lot from kids shows. Um, yeah, um, I don't know really, well, there's a ton that I can think of to say. I mean, I've already got the theory that Sasha's going to turn into a bad guy working, you know, oh, wait a second. Well, I got like 15 things running through my head. Thanks to hearing Gideon's dad's you know, voice coming from Mayor Toadstool. I think that's what he said his name was. Um, <laughs> thanks to that, I even got the thought that, you know, what if they're in some part of Gravity Falls this whole time and this box transported her to the forest? And, you know, that we, that forest was pretty weird. We had all sorts of gnomes and all sorts of stuff. What if it transported her there? That's just a theory that's running through my head at the moment. So, um, I know it ain't true, but it's still running through my head. Um, I mean, this is, I don't know. Um, hopefully I can keep up this week with this show and then jump back into Tangled because what I think they're going to end up doing to us is give us these first four or five episodes right away, get us wanting more, and then they're going to go on a break like DuckTales just recently did where they had their two weeks worth of episodes right there in a row. And now they're going on flipping break. Oh, I hate when shows do that, but it is what it is. So with Amphibia right now, yeah, um, we are definitely going to continue this. Hopefully I can keep up this week like I already said. And throughout my whole jumbled up mess right then, um, yeah, that is pretty much all I can think of. I have no idea, you know, what else to talk about. I mean... There's, oh, oh, I do see, because I can see this box here on the screen, there is three, you know, gemstones on it. There's a green one, there's a blue one, and a purple one. I don't know if that's going to have any significance. I don't know if this tree that's on the side of the box is going to have any significance. And maybe there's a, you know, maybe there's an entrance way into the tree where it looks like the little music box. You turn the handle to it. I mean, there's so much I'm looking at right now just with the music box alone. This is going to be a show that has a lot of mystery to it. So, that's a good thing. So, yeah, I'm done rambling. So, hopefully y'all got something out of all that, you know, incoherent thought that I had. So, yeah, it is y'all's turn. Hit the like, tickle the subscribe, don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.